expect to stay home and stay safe for a few more weeks. Farmers reluctantly begin dumping milk, and 4-H youth events go digital? I'm Janelle Bros, and this is Farm News 5. Farm News 5 is brought to you by Ford. Dairy farmers across the country and right here in Michigan are tasked with doing the unthinkable, dumping milk. Farmers are, are still working, but not getting paid much for the product and then have the heartbreak of having to dump a valuable product that they know people need. And just the, the human story of that is something that farmers really are heartbroken about. Nobody enjoys dumping milk. Uh, it, is a, it is a heartbreaking thing to dump milk, and especially when you know there's a need for it. In Menominee County farmer Steve Brock's case, a combination of factors are impacting his Wisconsin-based Family Dairies Cooperative, the first being a lack of needed packaging and labels after retail runs on milk, limits on dairy purchases at the retail level, and the diminishing demand for dairy from the restaurant industry. But I can't walk up to my bulk tank and turn that valve on it. It's one of the sickest times. It, it, it literally, I just, it's like I get physically ill. And if I'm going to do that three days a week, that's going to get brutal. When a dairy farmer dumps milk, it doesn't just impact their bottom line. It's going to affect my feed mill. It's going to affect all my suppliers. Um, last week I had to not lay my nutritionist off, but I told him, hey, I can't pay you. And if you continue to come, that's just going to add mental weight to me. So don't come until I can afford to pay you. And we've done that with, you know, our veterinarian, our nutritionist, a lot of suppliers. So it's going all the way down that chain, and it's affecting a lot of people. Meanwhile, Mideast members of the nation's largest cooperative dairy farmers of America are not being asked to dump milk at this time. Manager of the Mideast region, Scott Corin, says as a co-op, they are focused on increasing sales. Putting milk on the ground is the, is the last thing that we want to do uh, because there's no value to that to the producer at all. So we want to make sure that we do everything that we possibly can to get the, the sales and that milk process in the state. Members of the Michigan Milk Producers Association aren't dumping milk either. But in a text to Farm News 5, MMPA Director-at-Large Chris Wardeen says, Michigan won't be immune to dumping as milk demand is not keeping up with the losses suffered by restaurants closing and schools canceling in-person instruction. If a producer does have to dump milk, the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development issued instructions for the proper disposal of raw milk. The document can be found on the department's website. If you want a car from a company that's been building them for 115 years, get a Ford. If you want a car with driver assist technology, get a Ford. You're going to want a Ford. Summer programs for 4-H youth will look a little bit different this year. In what the organization calls a heartbreaking decision, MSU Extension and 4-H are canceling or postponing face-to-face -face youth events until September 1st. We know that this creates a different kind of environment for the summer in terms of how 4-H would normally be interacting with youth and families. Uh, but at the same time, we're looking forward to the creativity that we can all bring together uh, to creating a new kind of environment. MSU Extension at both the state and county levels will work with local entities, including fair boards and livestock councils, to create alternatives. So things that we've talked about are, for example, uh, creating a virtual fair environment through a website and related uh, connectivity where we could do everything from help to facilitate auctions to help to facilitate judging as well as continue to provide educational information. Dwyer says the decision was made to cancel face-to-face -face youth events well before summer county fairs begin, so workable solutions could be found for all counties rather than just a few. I think what it allows us to do is to really focus on how we can best help all fairs in Michigan in the coming months and not, for example, invest time into our standard uh, we're going to be at the fair face-to-face -face approach that in some cases at least uh, are likely not to happen. Control the future of your farm. Foster Swift's experienced attorneys can craft a custom succession plan for your business. Learn more at fosterswift.com. 
Michigan residents are being told to stay put for a few more weeks. Governor Gretchen Whitmer has extended the stay home, stay safe executive order. So today, I have signed an executive order to extend and expand Michigan's stay home, stay safe order. Yesterday, Dr. Fauci, who we've all come to see on our television with great regularity, said we need to keep pushing mitigation strategies because there is no doubt that they're having a positive impact on the dynamics of this outbreak. Now is not the time to pull back at all. It is the time to intensify. Last week, Farm Bureau President Carl Bednarski called on Governor Whitmer to reconsider retail garden centers and greenhouses as essential infrastructure, while this week the organization asked its members to do the same. No changes for the greenhouse industry were announced as part of the revised executive order. The industry, with an estimated retail value of up to $700 million, employs close to 9,000 people. Our biggest three weeks of the year are Mother's Day, the week after, and then the week before Memorial Day. And we sell, I don't know, percentage-wise, probably 50% of the money we make for the year in those three weeks. Uh, and then, you know, it slowly drops off until July 4th, where we don't sell hardly anything at all anymore. So we have until July 4th, basically, to make our incomes for the year. For more coronavirus-related news, resources, and updates, visit MichFB.com or MichiganFarmNews.com. With Farm News 5, I'm Janelle Bros. Have a great week of farming.